Hello and welcome. My name is Nahu and I'm the author of UFOs, God from Inner Space. Welcome to the Institute of Holiversal Learning. This institute is dedicated to the development and research into consciousness based on the science of holography. Tonight, we're going to investigate the relationship of consciousness to fractals. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for stopping by. In a recent video, Arthur C. Clarke, world famous writer and scientist, spoke of the relationship of fractals to consciousness. His astute observations awakened in me a kindred spirit, because I too believe that fractals may in fact explain the whole of consciousness, including dispelling the myth of the subconscious as well. Clark's theory was based, I believe in part, on the ever-expanding nature of the Mendelbrot set. The story of the ever-expanding nature of the fractal is one of resolution. Like holograms, the more light one shines upon the imagery within, or the closer you come to its variegated edges, the more they branch or bifurcate onward into infinity. Like fractals, the boundaries of consciousness are arbitrary. That is, their proposed existence depends upon one's closeness to the observed inner self, one perspective fading or spiraling into another. And what is more amazing, at the center of these now famous self-replicating fractal patterns is the spiral template, God's thumbprint impressed upon the sands of time. David Bohm, quantum physicist and chief proponent of the holographic universe theory, theorized that there are no distinct edges to reality, one apparent level enfolding or dissolving into another, levels just a matter of resolution, one's distance from the rough appearing boundaries. So where are these levels of the mind? What is conscious or preconscious is just a matter of observation. And what are we examining in our perspective but our beliefs of who we are or where we see ourselves coming from? Just a matter of perspective. Change your visual resolution and you change the perceived boundaries. Sigmund Freud believed in these boundaries thought to exist between the conscious and subconscious mind and used a technique called free association to awaken the dreamer to the light of their own consciousness because without the light of awareness, we continue to rebuild these imagined layers between oneself and the divine. These same fractal laws of increasing resolution apply to our relationship to self and world, where one's boundaries between self and universe fade into a holiverse of wholeness. What we focus upon defines the boundaries of our consciousness, Carl Jung's process of individuation in which self-realization becomes the ultimate goal of consciousness can then be seen as an ongoing evolution of subconscious self-recovery. When this occurs, the perceiving self is no longer separated from that which is perceived, and there is no longer a separation between our consciousness and these theorized levels of the subconscious supposed to exist below the surface of awareness. In this video tonight, I've tried to share with you some interesting new perspectives on consciousness by examining the relationship of fractals to these arbitrary divisions that we have and what we consider to be, or many people consider to be, levels of awareness. I believe that all these levels between consciousness, subconscious, pre-conscious, unconscious, or even the collective unconscious are all arbitrary levels created by the way in which we view our particular reality. 
I think fractals gives us an incredible new insight into the truth behind this theory. Thank you very much for viewing it and have a nice evening.